let's graph the linear equation, 3y minus x equals 6. And we're going to use slope-intercept formula. So here's slope-intercept formula, and we need to get this into this format here so we can graph the equation. Why don't we add x plus x to both sides? That'll give us 3y, this is 0, equals 6 plus x. But I'm going to put x plus 6 since the x comes first here in my slope-intercept formula. Now I think I'll divide both sides by 3. 3 over 3 is 1, so I have y equals x over 3 plus 6 over 3 is just 2. So now I have this in slope-intercept formula. That'll be a lot easier to graph. We find the y-intercept here. This is our y-intercept, 2. This is where we're going to cross the y-axis. That's our first point. And then for the slope, let's call this 1x over 3. 1x is still just x, but now we have 1 over 3. We can call the 1 rise and the 3 run. So our rise is 1 and the run is 3. So we go to the y-intercept, we rise 1 and go to the right. We run 1, 2, 3. Three. Let's do three points just to make sure. We go here to the new point. We rise one, run one, two, three. You can see they line up. Let's put a line through it. Put an arrows on the end there, show it goes to infinity. So that's the graph for 3y minus x equals 6. You could put values in for y, get values for x, and then you could figure out and do a table of values to draw the line. You'll get the same line either way. This is Dr. B graphing 3y minus x equals 6. Thanks for watching.